Hey, welcome back. We're at Lamentations chapter 5, verses 17 to 19. And let's read those verses, and then we'll, we'll think about it just for a moment together. Because of this, our heart is faint. Because of these things, our eyes grow dim. Because of Mount Zion, which is desolate, with foxes walking about on it. You, O Lord, remain forever, your throne from generation to generation. And so here's a picture again of the kingdom of Judah and Jerusalem, the city destroyed, uh, smashed, wiped out by the Babylonian army, which God, uh, God sent for, and they have brought humiliation. They've brought Israel low, and now many have been carried into captivity. Here's a group that remains, and things are pretty hard for them there. And so what do we have? The picture here is a picture of desolation, foxes, you know, wild animals walking around, uh, looking around for food, walking around in the places that normally used to be the streets and the marketplaces. It's a picture of desolation. So chastening makes God's people faint. It makes them weak and, and, and struggle in terms of, you know, physical strength and mental resilience. It wears people down, and then they can finally, some of them, come back. You know, isn't it true that God outlasts us every single time? You know, in a battle of attrition between God's will and your will, who's going to win? Are you going to just grit your teeth and, and eventually God's going to say, oh, I've had too much, I'm, I'm out of here? Not going to happen, is it? So God will outlast us every time. God has our best outcome in his mind. That's what he's trying to do. So let's be willing to say, yes, Lord, open my eyes, let me see, help me to draw close to you. Even though I, I haven't got it, I, I, I'm still struggling to get it, Lord, help me to get it now. May God do that for us in spite of our, our willfulness, our tendency to to double down and, and, and grit our teeth and be like Pharaoh who says, no, no, I'm not going to do it his way. I'm going to still do it my way. Help us not to go there. And again, I think one of the lessons here is that long, hard chastening can bring good results. We just don't want to be the ones that, that God has to go long and hard with the chastening on. But maybe, maybe you and I are. Maybe some of us are. May we, may we release ourselves to him and let him do the work he wants to do. Hey, let's pray together. Now, dear Father, Jeremiah is winding down now. We're at the end of the book of Lamentations, and the very hard experience of his people should have lessons for us. Help us individually, Lord, to seek your solutions, to look again at what you've revealed, to again ask you, Lord, to search our hearts, try us, and see if there be any wicked way in us. And Lord, lead us in the everlasting way. Show us your pathway. Give us a heart that wants to follow Jesus. This is our prayer, Lord. And in Jesus' name, we, we plead with you for it. Amen. Oh, may God help his church today in these crazy days. There's so much that needs to be done, and there's so little time left. The world is in such a state of chaos and need and loneliness and, and hopelessness. This is, this is our moment of opportunity, but many believers are just as confused and sideways as everybody else. Oh, my May God help us, and he will. He can do it individually, one by one, just starting with you and me. May it start with you and I today. God be with you.